But first, an incredible scene in Foxborough when a car slams into a house, tearing the wall completely open. And tonight, we're talking to the homeowner who was in the house when the crash happened. We're also learning more about the driver and what caused him to lose control. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is in the newsroom with more on our top local story. The damage to the house is so extensive, the homeowner says he's not sure he'll be able to rebuild. The front of Harry Weedman's home in Foxborough is ruined after an SUV driven by a teenage boy veered off the road and plowed into his house. It was so loud, it did sound like an explosion. The living room crash startled the 73-year-old and his wife. Both were in a different part of the house at the time and escaped injury. As soon as it happened, what did you do? Tried to get some clothes on so I could come out and see the boy that uh, was in the accident. That boy, dispatchers say, is a 16-year-old who lost control of his SUV on the wet road and crossed the double yellow line in front of the Weedman's home on Cacasset Street just before 7 o'clock Friday morning. You can see the path the vehicle took as it drove onto the front lawn, hit a mailbox, smashed the house, and hit Weedman's SUV before finally coming to rest. Did he say anything when you saw him? Just how sorry he was. Kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Amazingly, dispatchers say the teenage driver was not hurt when his car hit the house. In fact, they tell me his parents even picked him up here at the scene and took him to school right after. Weedman says the teen was shaken up after the crash, and so is he. I don't know uh, at this point whether we're going to get a hotel, uh, stay at my brother in law's for the evening. Despite being forced out of his home a week before Christmas, Weedman is counting his blessings. He and his wife weren't hurt. There's not an awful lot you could do other than positive attitude. Weedman expects the driver's insurance to pay for all the damage. Dispatchers say the driver will likely not face charges for the accident. In the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.